In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly import a layer design and then use that with something like Liquify and create some interesting backgrounds. And you can also combine multiple layers. Now, just got a design here. Now, these ones are some random colourful spot designs. They're actually created in Illustrator. I've got a little plugin that I've created, sort of a whole range of different dots and different designs and sets available on the Graphic Extras website. Of course, you can create similar sort of designs as well with lots and lots of dots yourself. But it's got literally thousands or hundreds anyway. I haven't counted them all of dots. Now, just gonna bring one in. Just use the place command. Just go file and place, just there. Just there. Once you've actually done that, then just, you can resize it. A fairly large file, so you can resize it to a thing. Now, you can of course import one or two or three. So, so just quickly go to file and place. Just add another one. Don't have to, there's a whole range of different designs. And say place there. So you just drag that different part. You can rotate it, of course, once you've actually put it in. Resize it like that. Okay. So once you've actually got and got over here, you can see the layers. Just go over there, just the layers. And then just go to something like liquify. So just go there, make certain you've got that selected, and go to Filter and Liquify. Now, you'll see the actual background there, that design. And what you can do then, you can just use any of these tools over here. Just smear it across, Forward Warp Tool. There's obviously lots of different settings. You can change the size of the brush there. Just warp that there. You can sort of swirl it around, drag that there, make paint pull off in that direction. I say any kind of size, so click OK. And you've got that sort of design straight away there. What you can also do, of course, is just a layer. So you can go to the other one as well, filter, and you can apply the same effect, of course, but you can actually use different ones as well, different settings. So you can just drag that around, maybe swirl that bit there. So they don't have to remain spots. They don't have to remain as before, so if you've got like say squares or whatever designs, you can warp and distort them in numerous ways. There's other tools, like I say twirl here, which you could use. Oh, that one's actually one of my favorites. So right, I'm just gonna click OK, and you've got the design there. As it's a layer, what you can do, just go to layer and layer style. You can actually go over there to drop shadow, and you can see the designs. You can actually see through the designs. So some transparency with that, so you can modify that. You can also go over to maybe add a stroke or just down there, bevel and emboss if you wish. Personally, I'm not gonna do that. So, got the design there. Now, of course, you can just flatten the layer and flatten, and then you can, if you want, just warp the whole lot. So, liquefy again, just tweak that even more to create all kinds of really abstract designs or file and place another design. There's a whole range of different designs, 40 different designs in this, but I say can be used the same sort of liquefied, create some great backgrounds very quickly in Photoshop, just using these tools. I say combine them in multiple ways, just do that, and maybe hold down the alt and just create another layer there, another layer there, another layer there and combine them all. So all of those can be combined and just then group all the layers or maybe turn it into a smart object, the whole thing. So convert into smart object and then apply the effect to that whole there. Filter and liquefy. Just go there and you can see the design which can be just dragged. Again, distorted and warped in numerous ways to create some very abstract, hippie, sort of unusual, surreal designs in Photoshop. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.